Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. Today is episode 48 of the £50 in 50p coin hunt book 2. The aim of the game is to collect every different back to 50p in UK circulation. Currently there's 64 different back commemoratives. We're well over halfway now with this second book. We still do need the Olympic Wrestling 50p for the first book. So after nearly a year I would say of coin hunting, if we are finally lucky enough to find that one, we'll pop that in the first book. That'll be that one completed and then we can fully focus on this second one. So here we go then, five bags in total, £10 in each bag. Let's get coin hunting and see if we can find some of those commemoratives that we haven't been lucky enough to find yet. So we've headed off the bag with a good start then. We've picked up the celebrating 100 years of girl guiding 50p, along with the second Peter Rabbit to ever be released, The Tale of Peter Rabbit from 2017. Both of them are just worth the face value of 50p, but you will need them for the collection at home if you do want to complete the full set. The record amount of coins we've managed to find is 17 in one coin hunt of £50. Hopefully one day we can try and beat that record, but I think it's going to take a while. So the third coin then is the Benjamin Bunny 2017. I'm sure everyone's found that one at home. 25 million were minted back in 2017. So we got the Team GB one next, followed by the Johnson's Dictionary. Just touching on that Team GB 50p, that one's actually for the Rio Olympics in 2016. It isn't part of the London Olympic set from 2011, just so you don't get them ones mixed up. 2006, Victoria Cross Heroics Act is next. And there was actually another Victoria Cross coin made in 2006 as well, the Victoria Medal. That coin shows the front of the cross on the left hand side and the rear of the cross on the right. Again, probably a couple of coins there that you will have found at home as well. Only worth the face values, but definitely worth keeping for the set. Again, quite a lot of dirty coins in the coin hunts. Not sure why this is at the moment. Might just be whereabouts I'm getting them from. Most of the time, it, when it's like that, people who have had car park machines have given them in. It's where they've got wet and got into really bad condition. I nearly missed an Olympic 50p then. This one, again, isn't another good quality coin, but we do need this one for the book. And when it comes to Olympic coins in the coin hunt, you'll take any of any quality, because they are like gold dust. So happy there to find another Olympic. Question in this coin hunt to everyone out there, what is the rarest coin any of you guys have managed to find? Have you been lucky enough to find the Kew Gardens? Or is maybe the offside rule explain the rarest coin that you've managed to find? Get commenting there in the comment section below. I know it is hard for some people. They do have to just rely on what commemoratives they get in the change, and I'm sure a lot of you is like that as well. I am extremely fortunate that I can get between 500 to 1,000 pound of 50p's every week. I do have another book as well, the Check Your Change book, and that one is a really good example of how long it will take you to find them in your change at home. And it does prove that you will find them eventually. It will take a lot longer, but if you stick at it, you will find them. So just going through the last coins then, we've done really well so far. This is really the icing on the cake. Then the Paddington here outside the Tower of London. Do keep hold of all 2019 50p's until the mintage figures are released. So here we go then. I think we've got 11 in total. A really nice coin hunt, loads of variety. And the star find the Olympic canoeing. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.